What is up guys, today we're filming a little gym vlog slash tip video because I want to make this decently long but if you're new subscribed, like this video, comment, check out my other videos. Make sure you follow all my socials because if you're not keeping up with them, you're missing out. I'm wearing these Reebok shoes that my mom gave me the other day. Um, she gives me her workout shoes that she can't like really use. And on the treadmill yesterday and I'm going to try to do it again today because I'm not really a runner. I like look like I could be a runner, but I'm not a runner. I don't really like running, to be honest with you. But I want to start learning how to run the treadmill. I don't know why I did this, but I took out all my hair ties because I've been using these type of hair ties, by the way. But um, I need to hurry up and go though, because I don't want to be waiting all day, and it's already almost nine o'clock in the morning. It's getting a little big, so that's good. Literally. All my life, my ass has been like a pancake, a pancake. I don't know what I'm doing to make it grow, so I can't even give you a real definite answer, but something's working. This is what it looks like. I'm not flexible. Oh, this is way better. Yeah, this is what it looks like. They're really cute. Um, But I'm going to go, and I'm going to probably vlog on my phone. days later and I now want to give the tips on how to overcome your gym anxiety I'm sorry if you hear like any pigs I literally just walked in like literally I feed them all day and they're always hungry so I'm on my computer I was looking at Gymshark because I like to look at their sales section I literally keep looking at it because I'm just hoping that I see some cute pants but like or some shorts and they're not all that so I didn't know I've been going to the gym on and off since like what a year ago I enjoy doing it to be honest it's like one of my favorite things it's, I couldn't even tell you like if it's really a hobby because I really enjoy doing it and it's like it releases happy hormones so I just like um I don't think it's a hobby I feel like it's starting to become like a routine of mine the thing I'm gonna say is take videos of yourself working out um as you could tell, if you follow me on Instagram, Kimana Sawyers, follow me on there, like my pictures, all the good stuff. Um, I take a lot of videos of me working out. You can easily skip over them if you don't care about them, but I do it mostly because for myself. And, you know, I don't think it's helping anyone, but I just do it mostly for myself so I could see how my form is. And it also helps with my anxiety, too. I'm so used to being on camera, so it's like I... Um, I feel like it helps me a lot and it helps me check out my form and plus like if I want to go back to if I try to like if I want to go back to this routine that I had because I don't I'm trying to set a routine for myself I want to look back on my highlights and be like oh this is what I used to do you know this gave me results well let me keep doing that One thing is an issue for me here and there but I do notice that people still bring this up but when you go to the gym unfortunately people are gonna stare people are gonna stare you can't really stop it people are gonna stare regardless they probably think you're cute or they're trying to look at your form i know that i look at people because i think they're cute i know i look at people because i think their form is good so i just be like taking mental notes and i don't be like on them like that i just look at them from a distance and i'm just like I'm rooting for you in my head. I'm not gonna say it out loud because I have social anxiety, but I'm rooting for you. It's gonna happen, but my stubborn ass was like, you know what? We probably have like 30 more minutes to film, so, but no. 
Not with this camera battery, it's ghetto. It likes to die in two seconds. Definitely feel like, you know, you should keep in mind that people are gonna always stare at you. Doesn't matter. As long as they don't do like some weird shit, but like cross your boundaries or whatever, or touch you in an inappropriate way, then you're good. People are gonna stare. That's just life. They're gonna let it affect you when you're working out, or of course they're gonna stare. I look good. Even though I'm covered in sweat, I know I still look good. And of course people are gonna stare. Thing, when you start feeling anxious, tell yourself affirmations to not be so anxious anymore. Such as, I belong to be here just like everyone else. I don't need to keep getting in my head about these things. Because there's certain areas in the gym that makes me super duper anxious. One of the biggest areas that I get the most anxious at, which I don't, I know why, but like I'm trying to overcome this fear. It's a very small thing. And I remember when I was first going to the gym, just covered, covered with these buff 40 year old, 20 year old men. And I was like, I started making these mental notes and I was like, you know what? I started making goals for myself and this is just me in general like I start making goals for myself and I'm like I'm gonna go to the weight section because I know that it makes me anxious and if I don't do it I'm never gonna do it and I want to start bringing weights into my routine so I'm gonna start going there at least once or twice a week because this little section is preventing me from being great so I need to go to this section so I could stop being so anxious all the time about it. Um, so I went there the other day and walking there, I feel anxious. But then when I'm sitting there, I feel good because I'm staring at myself in the mirror like I always do. It's a Leo thing. It's like looking at myself in the mirror and looking at myself in the mirror helps to look at my form and it kind of helps me pretend that I'm the only one in the room that's what I do and I stay there for probably like 40 minutes 30 minutes trying to lift weights and then I go back to where I need to go so um yeah I definitely just get intimidated by certain things and then I'm like I need to stop staying in this bubble because staying in this bubble is not gonna make me grow as a person and this is just in general in life because me not doing the thing that I'm afraid of is making me more anxious and of course when I do something that's gonna make me anxious it's gonna make me anxious for a little bit and then it's gonna start going away after I keep doing it over and over and over again so that's just a tip for me that's just how I've been just thinking about things perspectively um the thing is pretend that you're the only person in the gym I already kind of said this but it makes a lot of sense I mean the gym that I go to is pretty chill. I'm, um, I like going there and the people are always nice to me there. Like the other day, so it's going to be kind of funny, but like the other day I was at the, the, one of the, um, machines and I'm familiar with the machine, but I'm not confident in like tightening this stuff because to give you more support because I literally don't know how to do it and obviously like another thing is you can ask for help from people if you feel comfortable with the people at the gym you can ask people for help because I need to start doing this because I honestly realized that like I probably look crazy to some people because like I did to this man because I was literally like okay I was going down I was using this pull down machine thing for uh you hold the little bar and then you pull it down stopped his workout and he's like two inches away from me so we're like this close to each other he's doing his thing i'm doing my thing and i'm just not really listening I'm, i mean i'm not really paying attention to what's going on around me so i was just like noticing in the corner of my eye that he was stopping and i thought maybe he's just staring at himself in the mirror because a lot of people in the mirror and he started walking up to me and then I was like, oh, he's going to talk to me. And he's like, 
you need more support on your legs because I'm noticing that you're floating when you pull the machine down. And I was like, oh, thanks. Then he was like, I'm going to help you tighten the thing so you can feel more supported so you're not floating in the air. And I was like, like my heart was like, I think I've seen him before, but I've never like talked to him. But I see like a few people that I'm familiar with seeing because they go around the same times a lot. So I was just like, I am familiar with the certain people that go there. So um, he tightened the thing and then my legs were actually staying down when I was pulling it down, which I didn't know you were supposed to be doing that, but I just learned something new. But I just thought it was really nice. I thanked him and then I went to the other machine. Cool it a day, but yeah, so I've been trying to have a set, like a little collection you know hopefully one day i'm just gonna say this out loud manifesting this out loud um i'm hoping that like one day a fitness brand sponsors me cough cough gymshark or even a sustainable activewear brand cough 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 i've been using is gymshark and i have now three articles of clothing from Gym gymshark so um yeah um but their shit is expensive like one top is like forty dollars and their bottoms would be like forty dollars so that's like eighty dollars on top of tax and then also on top of shipping so that's probably like what like almost like probably like 85 90 dollars just for like one pair of an outfit and i'm just like no this is why i go in the sales section because i spent twelve dollars on shorts that was originally like probably like twenty five dollars and altogether it was like eighteen dollars and since it was under twenty dollars i was like this is like a steal i'm not about to be waiting until it's like fifty dollars to buy it because no i'm trying to save my coins i'm not trying to make dumb money moves here if you wear a cute gym outfit it makes you feel even more confident and also another thing about confidence is that if you feel not so confident about going to the gym, make sure your head is always up when you're in the gym or just in general. I feel like it gives you a confidence boost, you know? So make sure you listen to music. I don't really listen to music when I go to the gym. I probably sound like a sociopath, but I probably should start bringing it, but I don't have AirPods. And I feel like if I bring my wired headphones, they're tangled. If I bring my wired headphones, I feel like I'm gonna drop my phone and it's gonna crack because I've already almost dropped this camera at the gym and I've already dropped my phone a couple of times at the gym already. Like the other day, it was, it's gonna sound really gross, but my phone fell on the bathroom floor and it fell under another stall. And luckily no one was in that stall because that would be so awkward just to be grabbing your arm while you're on the toilet and just grabbing your phone while someone's just shitting there pretty much all like i literally like don't like i try to keep this shit like really simple i enjoy i enjoy i do enjoy going to the gym it's something that i really enjoy doing it's like my life right now pretty much all for this video i'm excited to edit this video so you guys can see it because i know that a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to post a video because I've been getting DMs and people are like, I miss your videos and I'm just like, I'm sorry. But, um, Cairo, if you don't stop. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you like this video. Check out my other videos if you haven't already. Check out all my socials. Everything link down below. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.